Hi everyone. So let us now revise Hamming code and CRC, which comes under error control and that can be provided either at data link layer or a transport layer. So it is like uh, these methods that we are going to study are not very specific to data link layer, but yes, we are in the sequence. So I, I have just written data link layer here, but wherever I'm saying Hamming distance or CRC, these are the general method for the error detection and error correction. So let's just uh, study them. Okay. So we will start with the Hamming distance. Those who are watching first time, I'm Sachin. I'm co-founder and instructor at Go Classes. I finished my master's from ISC Bangalore. And after ISC, I have been to Amazon as an applied scientist. I've also got a gate L all in 33. Okay, let's continue. So this error detection, error correction, this is one thing that we are going to study. And that uh, can be provided using Hamming distance or CRC or there are some other methods also. But before that, let's just first understand what is detection and correction. So there are two types of error that can happen. Either this is single bit error, which means only one bit get corrupted. Corrupted means one bit get, get affected. And another error is burst error where the multiple bit get affected. Generally, we say that the burst error is of length L, which means that if this is the first bit that get impacted and this is the last bit that get impacted and the distance between the first bit and last bit is let's suppose L, then we say this is the burst error of length L burst error of length L. Now, it doesn't mean that uh, that all the bits in between are also impacted. Okay, maybe maybe uh, some of them are impacted, some of them are not, not impacted. Still, we say that this is a burst error of length L. Even uh, it will be specified in the question, so don't worry about it. Okay, I mean the definition of the burst error will be specified in the question, most probably. So, this is single bit error and burst error. Now, when we uh, talk about uh, you know error detection or error correction for that we have to code the data code the data means we have to put some parity bits in the data now there are two type of popular coding one is block coding another one is convolution coding block coding is in gate syllabus in the sense that uh, like uh, we are just going to study this block coding it has many different uh, types which means that black code, uh, block coding can be provided using the Hamming code, using CRC, using checksum, using parity. So these all are in the gate syllabus. Now there is another type of coding which is called convolutional coding. This is not in gate syllabus. Okay. This is not in gate syllabus. Now what is block coding and what are these types? Let's just study them. So block coding is basically providing the extra parity bit along with your message. Now those extra parity bit can be appended at the end or those extra parity bit can be appended in the between also. When we see Hamming codes, we will see that these extra parity bit are being appended at the end, sorry, at, in the between and in the CRC, we are appending them in the end, right? Since it is a revision class, you might have uh, already knows, uh, know these, these kind of things, but still, I, I hope uh, like uh, I'm making you revise these things, right? Okay. So whatever we are going to study, we will generate some parity bit and then we will append those parity bits in the message, which means these are the four things that we will study. And in this video, we will study just Hamming code. And what we will do, we will generate some parity bit and we will append those parity bits along with the message bits, right? Now the append can be happen and can happen at the end or in the between also. Now let's just see what is error deduction. Suppose there's a sender, there's a receiver. If sender is sending some data through some channel, then the channel could be a noisy channel. Noisy means that channel might disturb your bits. Whatever you are sending, let's suppose that get impacted or may not get impacted. It depends if there is an error in the, uh, in the channel or not, right? So whatever you are sending may get appropriately at the receiver or may, may be some, uh, some impacted data or, uh, or some data which uh, where the, some, some of the bits got altered can be received by this receiver, right? So now how to detect the error, which means whenever you are sending the data, let's suppose this is this is your sender and this is the receiver. If you're sending some valid data, but you receive some invalid data, then will the receiver be able to detect that there is an error or not? That's my question. But before that, we should be answering these two questions that what is valid and what is invalid. There are some code words, some list of code words, which is called valid code word. I mean, depending on the protocol that we are using, uh, I mean, having distance or CRC or whatever, like, right? So based on that, we have some valid code word. And fortunately, these valid code words are known at both end. 
which means that sender knows all valid code words right list of valid code word is available here list of valid code words and list of valid code word is also available here list of valid code word now whenever you are sending some data if you are sending let's suppose these are let's suppose three valid code words that you have if you are sending one of the valid code word and then receiver is receiving invalid code word then since the receiver is also having list of all valid code words the receiver will say that whatever i just received it is not matching with any of the uh, any, uh, any of the valid code word i mean it will it, it will it will match with any of like uh, with the valid code words and it will say that since it is not matching with any of the valid code word that means it must be an invalid code word this means that there is an error that's how the receiver can detect the error but suppose you are sending some valid data suppose these are the three valid code words that you have you are sending some valid data and receiver also receives some valid data but this is another valid that you are sending which means you are sending 0101 which is one valid code word but receiver is, is receiving 1101 which is also valid but it is another valid now receiver will do what receiver will check it against all the valid code words because receiver also has list of all, all valid code words Receiver will check it against all valid code word. Receiver will say since, since it is also a valid code word, then receiver will say that there is no error. In fact, there is an error, but receiver is not able to identify the error. This kind of scenario will say we say that receiver will not be able, able to identify the error. So basically, what can receiver do at most? If it is receiver, what can it do at most? Whatever it is receiving, right? Whatever it just got received. It will, it can at most match with the valid code words. That's all it can do, right? It can just match. So if it is invalid, then the match will say that, okay, uh, that is not matching with any of them. Then that means there is an error. But if it is valid, then it will match with one of them. And then receiver will not know that there is an error or not. Receiver will not be able to identify the error. Okay. To make it more clear, let's just answer this question, which is true false question. If a receiver receives invalid code word, then there is always an error. Is this true or false? What do you think? If receiver is receiving invalid code word, then it means that a receiver will see that, okay, since a receiver can actually detect that this is an invalid code word, then it means the receiver will see there is an error, right? So then there is always an error. I mean, uh, receiver says that there is always an error, right? So it means receiver says or maybe like i hope you understand that there is always an error so you will say yes if it is invalid code word that is receiving then there is always an error so that is true but what if this if receiver is receiving valid code word then can you say there is no error you don't know right i mean if receiver is receiving valid code word then you don't know that it is the same valid that you are sending or this is another valid so that's why there is no error can you always say then the answer is no i mean you, you don't know actually right so that's why it is false Similarly, if I just ask you that if receiver is receiving valid code word, then there is an error. Actually, you don't know, right? If receiver is receiving valid code word, then you don't know that there is an error or not. So that's why you don't know. That's why it is also false. I mean, whether there is no error or there is an error, in both the cases, the answer is false. Okay. Now, let's see what is data word and code word. I mean, we have talked about the code word, uh, invalid and valid code word, but, uh, but uh, let's see that how to generate a code word using the data word. So there will be a data word. I mean, let's suppose th this is the message that you want to send. Maybe this is the message that you want to send. This is the message that you want to send, or there could be any message. Corresponding to every data word, there is a fixed code word based on the protocol that you are using. Suppose you are using CRC, in CRC, which generator you are using or whatever polynomial you are using, right? So based on that, there will be a fixed code word. So for every data word, there is an unique code word. Okay. It is not so that for 00, zero the code word could be triple zero triple uh, or maybe like zero zero one or something like this, right? It, it's not like that. I mean it is fixed. If if zero zero is there, then zero 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 is the code word based on the protocol that you are using, right? It is it is not like that that sometimes it is zero zero zero, sometimes it is zero zero one. No, it's, it's it does not happen in this way, right? So for every data word, there is an unique code word. I hope you understood this. Now, there are two things to, uh, to control the errors. One is the error detection, another one is error correction. So error correction is more superior than error detection in the sense that if you can just detect the error, then it is called error detection. If you can even correct the error, then it is called error correction, which means if receiver is receiving some data, okay, let's suppose 0, 01, 0, 01, 0, 0, 0, okay, if receiver is receiving this and if receiver says that, okay, 
कुछ तो गड़बड़ है राइट आई मीन इट जस्ट सेज दैट ओके कुछ तो गड़बड़ है दया इट मीन्स दैट देर इज सम एरर आई मीन इट इज जस्ट एबल टू डिडक्ट द एरर सो एरर डिडक्शन इज देयर आई मीन दिस इफ रिसीवर इज सेइंग दैट ओके कुछ तो गड़बड़ है इट मीन्स देर इज एन एरर डिडक्शन बट इफ रिसीवर कैन इवन करेक्ट इट राइट विच मीन्स रिसीवर कैन से दर सी द एरर इज एट दिस पोजिशन एंड एट दिस पोजिशन नॉट जस्ट इट कैन डिडक्ट द एरर इट कैन ऑल्सो सेट दैट एरर इज दिस एंड दिस पोजिशन इट मीन्स इट कैन करेक्ट द एरर बिकॉज इफ एरर इज इज एट दिस एंड दिस पोजिशन इट मीन्स इट जीरो मस्ट हैव बीन वन एंड देन दिस जीरो दिस वन मस्ट हैव बीन जीरो राइट एंड देन दिस इज द करेक्ट कोड वर्ड इफ यू कैन ऑल्सो टेल द बिट पोजिशन देन इट इज कॉल्ड एर करेक्शन and if you can just detect then it is called error detection basically if you can correct it you can say that okay this is the correct code, code word for the for the wrong code word that you have just received the corresponding correct code word if you can just tell then it is called error correction okay so we will see uh, it in more detail don't worry now i have taken this screenshot from tenenbaum you just see here what are the methods we have for the error correcting and error detecting for error correcting we have hamming code and these three methods are not in gate syllabus because these three methods are related to convolutional coding that i talked about right so these are not in gate syllabus but we will see hamming code here and here we will see for the error detection like uh, parity checksum crc this is in the gate syllabus so we will see uh, all of them right so they all are block codes basically okay cool now let's just see what is hamming distance Hamming distance between two uh, two binary pattern is the number of bits in which they differ. These are differing in two bits, so that's why it is two. These are differing. I think uh, this one is same. This zero is different, so one. This one is same. This zero is different. Two and then this three, right? So Hamming distance here is three. So number of distance differences between the corresponding bits. Now there is one more method using which you can find out the Hamming distance. Is basically you can take the JOR. If you take the JOR of this. This is one, one, and then zero. And if you count number of ones, okay, number of ones in the jar, number of ones here, then this will tell you uh, the Hamming distance. The, so the Hamming distance is two. Similarly, you find out the uh, the jar first, one, 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 zero. It will be one, one, zero, one, zero, right? Number of ones are three. So that's why the Hamming distance is also three. Right? If you take the jar and then you find out the number of ones, it will be the Hamming distance. Cool. So now let's just see what should be the minimum Hamming distance for the error detection. Okay. What do I mean by that? Let's just understand this with one example. Suppose that uh, this is this is one line I am drawing, and here is a valid code word. Okay. Valid code word means like you have a list of valid code word, and now if you take uh, one Hamming distance, which means if you just alter one of the bit, that will create you uh, one more code word. And let's suppose it is invalid. Okay, and after one more, it is invalid. After one more, it is invalid. Let's suppose, I mean, one, two, three. You you can have any one, uh, any number of invalid code words. Let's suppose after one, it is invalid. After two also, it is invalid. After three also, I mean, if you even alter the three bits, then whatever you are generating, let's suppose, it is also invalid. It is also invalid. And let's suppose that uh, this is a valid code word, which means what I am saying is that. If you alter one bit, you get invalid code word. Two bit, you get invalid code word. Three bit, you get invalid code word. Four bit, you you get invalid code word. But if you alter five bits, then you are going to get valid code word. Okay. Suppose this is the scenario, and you are sending this valid code word. So sender is here, which is sending, which is sending. Let's suppose this valid code word, right? This valid code word. Now suppose at the receiver end, you receive. Let's suppose one of them. You receive one of the invalid. Can you say it is invalid? obviously you can say right since it is invalid so you you will say that it is invalid so the error detection is there so my question is that how many bits of the error you can detect which means if you receive this then you can say okay it is invalid which means one bit of the error you can detect if you receive this you can say it is invalid if you receive this i mean you can say there is there is an error if you receive this then also you can say there is an error because these are invalid but if you receive this although you are sending this and you receive this Then you will not be able to say that there is an error because you don't know whether uh, it is sending the this valid or this valid. So basically, if the error is of one bit, right, one bit, two bit, three bit, four bit, then you can say there is an error. But if error is of five bit, then you will not be able to identify there is an error. So basically, let's suppose there is a distance minimum Hamming distance between two valid code words is let's suppose five. Minimum Hamming distance means that if you collect all the valid code words, then In between all the valid code words, the minimum Hamming distance is five. 
okay which means no two valid curvatures are lesser than 5 now i am saying that minimum hem distance between two valid curvatures is 5 which means even now in this case if there is a one bit of error two bit of error four three bit of error or four bit of error then you can identify those errors right so if d minimum is 5 then then you can identify four bits of error what does this mean it means that if two valid code words are uh, are minimum of five distance away then it means that in between there could be multiple invalid one two three four like that right and then if you're sending this valid code word and if you're receiving this one then you can say yes there's an error because this is invalid this and here also you can say if you're receiving this also this also but if you're receiving this then you don't know whether the error is of five bit or this is just a valid code word that i've sent right okay i hope you understood so, if the minimum having distance is 5, then you can detect error up to 4 bits. Can you, uh, if you receive this, then the error is of 1, 2, 3 bits, then, then also you can receive, you, you can detect there is an error, yeah, then also you can detect there is an error, right? I hope you understood. But now, my question is, let's suppose I, I ask a one, one label up question, which means, my question is that, can you even correct the error? Which means, can you even say that if you're receiving this, then the corresponding corresponding valid code word is this or this i mean whatever right i mean can can you can you just guarantee me that corresponding valid code word is which one so my question is that let's suppose i have the same scenario which means that d minimum is let's suppose 5 okay d minimum is let's suppose 5 and let's suppose i mean this is what i did as a user as a programmer what i did i have generated the valid code word and i have agreed upon a protocol where the d minimum is let's suppose 5 okay it could be any other value but for example let's suppose it is 5 this is what i did as a programmer now but i have a physical limitation physical limitation means i have the limitation on the channel my channel is saying that there is a channel that i use uh, to transmit the database and channel is saying that it cannot produce Okay, I mean it is actually a good thing, not a limitation, but yeah, it is saying that it can or cannot or can produce produce errors errors up to let's suppose two bits, which means if I am sending this, then I am hundred percent sure that even if if it get altered, then either it will get altered in this or it will get altered in this. That is my channel saying. I mean, channel is having some uh, good thing or maybe some limitation or you can say it can produce errors up to just two bits, which means that either, either if you're sending this, then you will be receiving either, either this one. I mean, you have three options, obviously. You can receive this one if you're sending this or maybe you can receive this one or maybe you can receive this one, right? I hope you understood. So, I hope the setup is clear to everyone where I'm saying that I have minimum having distance of 5 which means as a programmer what I did I, I made the minimum having distance 5 and as a channel right as a transmission transmission medium what I have I can have errors up to 2 bits only which means if I am sending this then I, I can have error up to zero, uh, uh, error of 0 bit which means I will be receiving this if I am having error of 1 bit then I will be receiving this if I am having error of 2 bits then I will be receiving this right so that is my scenario now suppose interestingly suppose if I receive this okay i mean you do not know what what you have just sent uh, but the receiver is saying that i have received this okay but uh, okay uh, just a second uh, just for the example let me just first say that suppose you receive this okay you receive this one you don't know what is being sent but you receive this one can you just tell me that what should be the corresponding valid code word See, you receive this, but you don't know that what, what sender just sent. You know that it is invalid because uh, this is one of the invalid code word. So, there must be an error, but you don't know, uh, you don't know that to, how to correct it. My question is that, can you help receiver that how to correct it? See, one thing is for sure that the error can be up to 2 bits, which means that if you if you just check around then you will say that okay this must be the corresponding code word must be this this one only why the reason being is that if the error can be up to two bits then then this can only be converted to this i mean this cannot reach here 
because this to to make it invalid i need to cross three bits uh, three hamming distance and that is not my channel touch channel is little nice to me it is saying that i can produce error but don't worry i will produce error up to two bits only so in this case i'm 100% sure that if i'm receiving this then the corresponding code what is this that's the beauty about the correction error correction i can even tell that what is the uh, corresponding code word so i will say that corresponding code word is fixed here which is this one only so in this way i can even correct the error now suppose if i say that you receive this then can you tell me what could be the corresponding code word this one only why because this cannot be the corresponding code word because here you need to cross 1 2 3 4 and that is not even possible because to make this to here i need to have uh, four bits of error and that is not my channel touch channel only have up to two bits of error so basically what i'm saying is that if you receive if you receive these two then your corresponding code word if you receive these two then your corresponding code word is this one which is left one and similarly similarly if you receive these two then the corresponding code word is this one so basically now the regions are divided which means i say that if this is the invalid code word that i just received then the corresponding code word must have been this because if the corresponding code word is this then the hamming distance between these these two is actually three so that's not uh, that's not possible with me right i mean that's why the corresponding code word must be this okay so i hope you understood this that what i'm saying that if the minimum hamming distance between two between two is five and the channel is can have uh, can produce up to two bits of error then i can even correct the error now suppose I change this question a little bit and I say that channel can produce three bits of error and the minimum hamming distance is still fine. I mean as a programmer whatever protocol I am using uh, that just produce the minimum hamming distance to me is just five. Okay. And yeah, uh, just a second let me just erase it. Yeah. So and uh, the channel can produce up to three bits of error. Right. Channel is not nice in this case. 3 bits of error it can produce. Now tell me can we correct the error? Okay. Can we this is my question. Can we correct the error? Just answer this. Think about it and uh, just answer this. See what I am saying that can you correct the error in this case? Suppose since, uh, since I can have uh, 3 bits of error. Suppose I receive this, I receive this as an invalid. Now can you tell me the corresponding valid? Answer is yes. Why? Because this must be the corresponding valid only, right? Because if this is the corresponding valid, then the hamming distance should be 1, 2, 3, 4 and that's not my channel touch. Channel is saying I can produce at most 3 words of error. For this, the corresponding I know. Similarly, for this, the corresponding I know. But for this, I'm confused. Reason being is that, reason being is that for this, the corresponding could be this because it is just two distance away and the corresponding could be this also. For this I am confused. The corresponding could be the left one or the corresponding could be right one because left is saying that uh, the hamming distance is two, right is saying uh, hamming distance is three and both can my, uh, my channel can produce the, any one of them, right? Similarly for this also I am confused. But yeah, for these two I can actually give the correct answer. So, if the ch if channel can produce three bits of error, then this minimum dis dis distance of five is not enough. Now, let's just uh, let's just question it that if channel can produce three bits of error, produce up to three bits of error, then what should be the minimum having distance? should be d minimum such that we can even correct the error suppose this is my question okay before i ask even ask this question let me uh, ask one easier question or maybe one of the nice but easy question suppose i say I just modify this question instead of it can produce up to three words of error if I just say exactly three words of error okay suppose if I say it can produce exactly three words of error then are you confused see if it can produce exactly three words of error it means I mean either either zero bits or three bits basically exactly three bits here I mean that either no error or exactly three bits of error okay so either no error 
channel is producing either no error or exactly 3 bits of error. Now tell me are you confused? See if you are sending this then either you will receive this or 1, 2, 3 or you will receive this right. If you are sending this then either you will receive this or 1, 2, 3 or you will receive this. You will never ever receive these two right because I am saying the exactly 3 bits of error that's why right. I mean uh, if you are sending this then you, have, you will be receiving this. So now suppose on the receiver side you receive this. Can you not say that since it is invalid and now I am not confused because now I, now I know that exactly 3 words uh, away uh, I have uh, I have whatever the valid code word I have exactly 3 words away it is it is the corresponding valid code word. Now I am not confused that it is 2 or 3. So that's why for this I am done I will say that yes the corresponding I know for this also corresponding I know I know which is this one right which is this one. So I hope this question is clear to everyone. Now let's just see this question where my question is that a channel can produce up to 3 bits of error then what should be the d minimum minimum of such that we can even correct the error ok. So if let's suppose if this is one valid code word and this is another valid code word and they are asking what should be the distance between two valid code words such that channel can even produce the 3 bit of error. If you are sending this then you can receive this you can receive this you can receive this you can receive this 1 2 3 yeah. If you are sending this then you can receive this one I mean the same valid or maybe you can receive this you can receive this you can receive this. What I want I don't want to have overlap between these two corresponding uh, corresponding words which means that I mean uh, I can have any number of invalid here that's that's okay but I don't want to have overlap. Overlap means I don't want to say that if you if you are sending this then you can receive this and then you can receive this you can receive this. Similarly I don't want to say something like this see overlap means I don't want to say something like this see if you are sending this then I don't want to say that you can for, for this I mean I want to have actually uh, different uh, different invalid for these two valid. If you are sending this then you can receive this you can receive this you can receive this if you are sending this then you can receive this you can receive this you can receive this. So basically the problem here is that for this valid you can receive this and then for this valid also you can receive this. So basically this is the overlap between two between two, two valid. Now but in this example I mean the, the number line that I have drawn below basically here the invalids are different. For this valid the invalid the set of invalid is different. For this valid the set of invalid is different. If that I can do right if that I can do then I can even correct the error because if I am sending this then if I am receiving this one this one or this one then the corresponding this if I, if I am receiving this one this one this one then the corresponding this. So basically what I am saying is that that if the corresponding invalids are different then you are good to go. Here in between you can have any number of invalid that's up to you I mean you can have zero invalid which means that here the distance is 1 1 2 so this is 1 1 2 3 so 3 and then this distance is up to you I mean whatever you want but yeah this is 1 2 3 so this is 3 right this is 3 this is 3 and this distance is up to you maybe you can have zero distance I mean sorry this is at least obviously one not zero uh, this is obviously I mean, I mean like at least one this distance zero means these two will overlap but I don't want any, any overlap so this is at, at, at least one but it is actually up to you you can have any number of distance. So if you want to if channel can produce three bits of error okay let me just say that maybe s okay or maybe t whatever you want let me just say this is t if channel can produce t bits of error then you must be having minimum having distance is 2t plus 1 right. I mean you can have 2t plus 2 you, 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 you can have any number of uh, invalid here it, it is up to you you can have 2t plus 3 but this should be a minimum having distance. This will make sure that your set of invalids are different for these two valid right. I hope you understood this now. Similarly if you just want to detect the error if you just want to detect the error and if you want to say let's suppose channel is producing 3 bits of error and you just want to detect the error then the minimum having distance should be at least 4 because uh, because your invalid could be this your invalid could be this your invalid could be this and your valid will be this one the next valid. So here you will say that if you just want to detect the error then the minimum having distance will be 4 but if you if you even want to, want to correct the error then it is 2t plus 1 right. These two results are quite important so that's why we have spent a few uh, minutes in this. Now let's move further see this is s plus 1 and similarly for the error correction let me just tell you for the error correction it is 2, 2s plus 1 right. 
okay here it is not written but yeah 2t plus 1 see here the territory of x and territory of y should be different i mean if if y is getting changed to something then whatever it can get changed to and whatever x can ch get changed to these two sets should be different so d minimum should be at least greater than 2 uh, greater than 2t and now here in between these these you can have any number of invariant whatever you want right okay actually i didn't want to go with the circle or the 2d example i mean generally it is a 2d example right i mean if it is a valid code word then the invalid could be this one just one bit away actually there are many invalid right or maybe this one this one which means if it is let's suppose the valid code word is let's suppose 110 then let's suppose this is valid then your invalid could be 111 this is invalid your invalid could be uh, 010 this is also invalid just at uh, one distance away right so there are many invalid but uh, for the simplicity i just took the straight uh, straight line example but in general it is a circle okay Cool. Let's solve this question. What they are saying? Consider a code with only four valid code words, which is this. This code has distance five. If the code word arrive is this, then the original code word must be. Okay. So just spend uh, some time in this. What should? What do you think should be the answer?